what's up guys? Welcome to the first episode of BTV Cribs, where we're gonna head down to the C building and talk to Teacher of the Year 2024, Dr. Nyland, and check out all the awesome and cool stuff that he has in store for us. Let's go. How are you? I'm doing good. We're here for the cribs. Oh, you want to check out check out my room? Yeah. Okay. Just, All right. Come on in. All right. Welcome. This is a little bit of a surprise. Didn't realize you guys were coming in. So yeah. this is uh, this is Dr. Nyland's classroom right here, which I like to call the lab. But uh, yeah. So this is this is where the classroom side is. Fully outfitted chalkboard wall. The best thing about the chalkboard wall. Once you ride it, you never have to change it. So it stays up there. I don't have to take it down every year, but that sets the tone for the class. We're doing a little bit of physics here last period, so you can see that. But um, this is my area. So this is no students. It's also where I got the trophy because we uh, win the county championship all the time. So got that stuff, got some of the teacher of the year stuff up there. This wall up here, this is every student that's passed uh, one of the AP physics exams. So that's my AP all-star wall, and they get their name up there if they pass it. This was an article they wrote when I won uh, Hillsborough County Teacher of the Year. I actually got this for free, so I figured I might as well put it up on my wall and, and flex a little yeah. bit uh, behind my desk there. But Principal Newton gave me when I won Teacher of the Year for the school. So I just kind of climbed up those ranks over the last climbing year. Climbing up the ranks. Now, what is this interesting device over here? What is this used for? So these are actually two different safety devices. This one right here, this is the eye wash station. So if you were to get any chemical or any type of particle in your eye, you would rinse your eyes here. This is like for the rest of your body. So if you had a chemical or you had anything on you that you needed to rinse off quickly, you would yank on this. We don't yank on it unless it's an emergency. We've had students yank on it in other rooms and it's pretty much the quickest way to get suspended around here. So this is my, my science and physics is for everyone wall. Okay, so it's not all white people. It's not all black people. You see people that are from all walks of life, all different countries, all different races doing amazing things. So these ones here, these are all actual physicists. So this, this woman is actually a professor at, uh, I believe Duke University, yeah. So I just want students to see that the things we do in here isn't just for white males, but that it's for everybody. Hey, I mean, what is this stuff up here? Interesting tools. So these are some uh, physics devices that we'll pull down from time to time to demonstrate different phenomenon, different things that we're learning about. So do you know what a Tesla coil is? I do not. All right, so Nikola Tesla, he was a famous physicist that specialized in electricity and magnetism. So I also have a light bulb in my hand and obviously the light bulb is lit up. But if I start to turn the Tesla coil on, Whoa. Wow. So what's happening is this is generating an electromagnetic field that's causing electric current to flow through the bulb. So most people think that this has to be plugged in somewhere in order to light up. But if you have a strong enough electromagnetic field, you can actually cause a light bulb to light up. This is the 3D printer here. Um, we probably print it's got to be probably over 500 prints throughout a school year. Uh, so in my principles of technology class, students learn how to 3D model, and then they learn uh, that you can send it into a device like this and 3D print pretty much any design you can come up with. Awesome. So they're pretty amazing. And then over here, so this is kind of the woodworking area. So we do a lot of building out of wood. So we have our bandsaw. You can see the kids today actually were getting trained on how to use it. So they were coming back and they were just learning what's the safety involved, how to operate, all that good stuff. And then that's the drill press, which anytime we need to poke a hole in something, depending on the size that we need, that's how we poke our holes. So if we need to cut, if we need to drill. And then I guess the last part would be uh, uh, my sanctuary back here. Yo, this looks like a 
scientist's playground in here. Yeah, so this is where I keep all of the supplies. So if you look at the cabinets, they're just jam packed with things that range from just motion, forces. This is my light cabinet. This is my thermodynamics, electricity, magnetism. So it's all organized. So, um, so yeah, this is where I come back, um, especially if I need to really focus on something and don't want people knocking on the door and, and, and mugging me. But uh, otherwise, yeah, this is uh, this is like my little tinker shop, I guess you could say, in now, the back here. Being in this room, I mean, there's a lot of cool items. You know, you got something that, you know, these action figures mm -hmm. and whatnot. But really, my attention and my focus is on what's up here. Like, could you please explain to us what this is? Is this a microscope? Is this like mini rockets? Uh, the second one, it's a, it's a rocket system. So uh, our county invested in some really nice rocket systems a couple years ago. So we've actually launched them during the spring celebration we have outside. We went out and we launched those. So they're, they're launched using pressurized water, but those are the two kits. So I always keep those up there because we don't use them a lot, but when we do, we got to be able to get to them pretty easy. What is the champ? <laughs> oh, this guy right here. Oh yeah. Okay. So this is our Pinewood Derby track. So Pinewood Derby cars are typically what Cub Scouts make and they like race down this giant track. So this track is about 25 feet long. I set it up in the middle of the classroom and then every year, part of Principles of Tech, their first build project, they build a Pinewood Derby car and they all race against each other. So what you see here is actually the timing device. This is what tells us who came in first, second or third and it tells us how quick the car was or how much time it took it to complete it. Hey, thank you, Dr. Nyland, for showing us your classroom. I'm definitely one of the coolest classrooms here in the school. Awesome stuff. Thank you for having us here. Well, Joel, I appreciate it. Come back anytime. And if you have any space in your schedule, take All my right. class this year. I know you're a senior, <laughs> so appreciate it.